You know, I kind of got a sense for how good of a person he was immediately when I, when I first met him. Um, he flew out to California and uh, got to meet my family and, and things like that. And, you know, I, I, knew, I knew he was the guy I wanted to be my head coach when um, everyone around me, my family, friends, anyone just, just loved being around him. And I think he has that same contagious effect here, uh, whether that be on the football field or, or in the game room. Um, people enjoy being around him and uh, really respect who he is as a person. Leadership is performance and performance is leadership. Um, you have to be able to back up what you say and what you do. Uh, on the field, during practice, I'm, I'm going to go 100%, no matter what. I know the guys can count on me to, to give my full effort, regardless of the situation. Um, and I think a big part of that uh, has to do with respect and you know being able to count on each other. Uh, and just continuing to do that, whether that's, like I was saying, in practice or you know off the field. They can count on me not to miss meals. They can count on me to go to class, to, to get my work done. Um, and I think by setting that example and, and holding others accountable to it, uh, that's, that's the definition of a leader. It's humbling. Uh, Pat Mahomes is the MVP of the NFL, and he was a heck of a player in college. And um, it's definitely an honor just to be put in the same sentence as him uh, from a fellow teammate. Um, but with that being said, there's, there's still some ground to catch up there and some things I need to do and, and to work on just to get to that level. But definitely um, very honored just for him to say that. It meant a lot to me. She'll always be with me. And uh, I have a tattoo that, that uh, I try and prove that with uh, right here on my wrist. Um, but definitely a, a tough time and, and something I'll, I'll never forget. And uh, I think it's as weird as it is to say, I feel like it it kind of helped me and gave me an experience to be able to relate to other people. Um, you know, relate to the bad times and understand that losing a, a few football games is, is really nothing um, compared to, to life. You know, it is just a game and, and to keep that in perspective. It's very important. Uh, it was probably one of the toughest decisions I had to make, you know, leaving my little brother to come here. Uh, but. I was once the, the younger child uh, who adored my older sibling. Um, it really gave me an understanding of, of how much it means and, and the impact that I have on, on him. Uh, so I've always just tried to, to really take advantage of that role and, and try and show him the ropes as much as I can. Granted, he's five years old, so who knows how much he's taken in. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I always just try and be there for him, uh, whether that's FaceTiming my parents and, and seeing him on FaceTime, seeing him run around the coffee table, seeing him play t-ball, little highlights. Um, some big moments I, I may be missing, kind of, but uh, I try and be there for him as much as I can and, and try and be a good influence for him here. You know, hopefully he sees what I'm doing and uh, maybe inspire him to go play some college ball himself. Well, I think anyone that's been to Lincoln, Nebraska, or been to a game day here, or even spent time here knows it's a, it's a community and it's filled with great people. And uh, I'm definitely thankful I chose this great university. Uh, <laughs> I got a sense of it when I visited here, um, and that's kind of what led me to it, just a passionate fan base, but it, it goes deeper than that. Uh, the people truly care about student athletes and uh, the football players here, you know, as, as people off the field and, you know, obviously on the football field as well. It's hard to just pick one quarterback. Uh, I would really say there's a few guys I really admire, um, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, um, some guys that I may be similar in stature uh, and can really sling the ball and just work their way in the pocket, can move around, and um, I really admire the way they play the game. We have a high expectation for ourselves, and we should. We play for the University of Nebraska, and we have Coach Frost as our coach, and. Um, I think we have all the necessary components to be a, a very good football team. Now it's just time to work, you know, and I think we've been doing that this spring ball and uh, we're going to continue to do that. Uh, our experiences last year helped us. I think it's going to continue to help us um, knowing that there's not a big margin for error. Playing in the Big Ten, you play against a lot of good teams each week. Um, you can't take your guard down. It doesn't matter. Uh, even in non-conference, you can't take your guard down. You, you have to come to play. And uh, we definitely got an understanding of that last year.